First of all, you would notice that I'm incredibly tall and my name is Mr. Littlefield, which is a complete contradiction. And I wish I had a dollar for every single time that a student has said to me, why is your name Mr. Littlefield? I've been a teacher at Central Coast Grammar School now for around 16 years. I love being in the classroom. I love working with the kids. My students would say that I tell really bad dad jokes. That's just a given. Um, but I hope that they would say that I'm fun, that I like to have a laugh in the class. And I think that's absolutely essential that you do have fun with the kids. My very first day of teaching was a scary moment. I was teaching at Wyong Public School on a year three class and I really didn't have much idea of what I was doing. So it was quite scary. My most memorable teacher was, believe it or not, in high school was an English teacher called Mr. Ponchard. Mr. Ponchard was actually fairly scary at that point until you got to know him, but he had great control over the class. And he was a really challenging um, teacher who really managed to get the best out of the kids. And even though he was what we deemed at the time scary, as I said, once we got to know him, we knew that actually his heart was for the kids. And he definitely was the teacher that I, I look back on and think most fondly of. And for me, when I got into teaching, I realised that I can make a difference. And what we do with the kids every single day is hopefully we challenge them. So you have to have a challenge in life. Certainly school teaching provides that challenge for me as well. A secret that um, I have never shared with my students is just how much I actually hate public speaking. Uh, and it's funny because when I get the kids in the classroom, it's something that I always uh, make sure that is, is paramount and every time we have the opportunity for those kids to speak in public I make sure they do. I find it nerve-wracking as I'm sure lots of people do but I try not to tell them that. It's my little secret. Why do I teach? I would say it's for two reasons. Number one, I think uh, there is no more important job to do. And number two, I think that we need teachers and we need teachers that are caring, that are motivated and that are there to provide opportunities for children now as they come into a digital age. Uh, I remember in primary school, in, in the primary school, having a student come in at the beginning of the year and I'd already had a preconceived notion of that, what that child was going to be like. But as the year progressed, I realised that this child was completely different. By the end of the year, I had probably one of my very, very favourite students. Over the lifetime of, a, of any teacher, we'll have numerous opportunities to impact on the future of that child. And hopefully somewhere along the line, I've managed to inspire them to want to continue their learning.